Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy Nutter Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Fallout for Survival. We're at the Red Rocket Fuel Station. We just did a, a little little quest underneath the station itself when we were uh, getting ourselves a uh, fusion core. So uh, with that done, we can actually move into Concord. I'm still missing buttons, which is great. Uh, and we're gonna go back into first person, of course. So with our trusty 10 millimeter pistol and dog meat and Dog meat, dog meat, buddy. What? What is he doing? Dog meat, are you okay? I'm still playing survival, buddy. Are, are, are you okay? You, you look a bit. What? Are, what are you doing? C come on, buddy. Boy, let's go. Yeah, you can be my companion. Come on. Since you don't actually count as a companion, I'm fine. I, I can't cheat with you having more carry weight and stuff like that. So um, I, I think I can, but I'm going to try not to. Oh God, blood bugs. Oh God, this might be a very bad start of an episode. Um, there's giant insectoids flying around. And dog meat is chasing one of them around. So that one is leaving. The other one went behind the building. I don't know what it's doing. Are they actually leaving? Because I could use the Brahmin meat. I could use the Brahmin meat. Because there's always a Brahmin over here with always two blood bugs. And sadly, there's no meat on the Brahmin. So, we're going to have to make do with what we have. But we might find a few things in these houses. They do say blood bug steak is pretty nice. So, I could have used that. Although, those are sugar bombs, right? God damn it. It's... The right stick to sneak. Damn you. Nuka Cola Quantum and sugar bombs. More, more food. More food. Because food is going to be the biggest problem in survival. Food is... Oh god, it's back. I can hear it's being back. He just splashed dog meat full of blood. I think I killed it though. And I didn't get hit. Yay, and I'm already hungry, but bl no blood bug steak. Why am I still in danger, by the way? Is that all the blood bugs still around? I don't hear it. I'm suppo I suppose I'm going to hear it when it comes around. Upstairs, a herbal antimicrobial. That might actually help out in this uh, difficulty setting. We get a bobby pin box and another one over here. And then an advanced safe. I can't open that up, but I hear the... Oh no, the blood. Talk me this. Okay, good boy. Good. Why are you green? Oh, he must have been poisoned. You look horrifying, buddy. Um, how you doing, buddy? How you doing, buddy? Um, can I tricks? Hey, boy. You know any tricks? There we go. Is is that a trick? I don't. I, I haven't seen him do any tricks. Okay, never mind. Let's get there. We go, Concord, and we can take more blood bug prospus coscus. That's scientific for blood bug ass, mosquito ass, but Concord, which is where they were nice people, right? Culturist said they were going to be nice people, so let's have a little chat with those nice people. Look, there's somebody over there already. He seems perfectly fine, not ready to murder me at the first sight or anything. Although, he seems to be... He's lacking some clothes. I think I could probably shoot him in the face, right? There we go. So that's that. I'm still in caution. So they haven't seen me yet. Um, switch bait or really right leg. Don't really care about any of those items. Ow, ow, ow. That was a hefty hit. Okay, so I'm gonna have to be careful. Oh! She's in a bit of trouble. Hello, Raider. There we go. And then duck down for the other one. Dogmeat, could you help me out and take hold of the leg of that other one as well? Oh, he definitely knows where I am. Uh, maybe if I run around the building, that might help. Uh, run around screaming! Peekaboo. Where is he? Did they try to follow me? Yes, I am. Kind of. Okay, so he's running in the opposite direction, but... It sounded like a woman. 
Oh god, there's more where that came from. Oh god. Hello. Um, let's execute a critical on your head. There we go. The other one is on the left. 44% chance. There we go. And then Dog's gonna take most of the shots there and then just build up another critical for later. There we go. Goodbye. So that's most of the radius gone. Ooh, leather right arm. I need that. I want leather stuff. There we go. More leather stuff. Leather is gonna help me out in the short run. That's what people say, right? The short run? Ooh, that's more purified water. I really need to eat. There we go. I changed my outfit to actually go back to the full suit and patch up uh, that suit with a bit of uh, leather pieces. Um, I am. I also, well, favorited the pipe pistol, so now I can switch over to that. I have quite a few bit of ammo of, for that thing as well. So might as well use that for a bit while we get more ammo for it. Purified water actually helps us out with healing as well, so that's slowly going to fill back up. So unlike the other difficulties, I won't be able to heal up straight away. It's going to heal up over time. Close-sighted pipe auto pistol. Might take that for the, you know, ooh, leather left leg. For the modifications on the gun. So I'm only missing a left arm now, so that should be nice. Once we get that, then we have a full set of leather armor already. Hi! Hi, Got Preston. The settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please! Through which door exactly? Oh, you probably mean a door on the inside of the building, but if you were already inside... How did they... Why were they firing at you from here then, since you have a better position there? Preston! These are important questions. Okay, so out of time has been completed and we... Go straight into wind freedom calls. Let's check out this area first. So we do get the laser musket. I'm gonna take it just for the ammo, because otherwise, you know, I don't really have any use for it. Because uh, it does a lot of damage, but it weighs a lot as well. So the short laser musket actually weighs 12.6 on survival, which is way too much for my taste. I'm gonna just drop it right now. Uh, it's a stronger weapon for sure, 31 damage, but yeah, I don't feel like it's my type of weapon right now. So let's just go in with the... Yeah, I, I equipped the glow sighted auto pistol. So here we go. And when we go in, I immediately need to move to the sides here. Because I don't want to get shot. Don't want to get shot. I can shoot that guy a bit. Oh, he's actually hitting my feet. Oh, god. Yeah, there's another one up there. Okay. Should probably focus on... Yeah, they they definitely have the better shot. Holy crap. That kind of hurt. So let's go with the 10mm pistol through the museum here. I don't think there are any enemies right here for now. But we're going to have to use vats a bit more. Because I always forget about... Vats. Oh, for, God, for fuck's sake. My immaculate aiming. God damn it. Take those bullets to the chest. In Louise's magnificent bowler head. I think Dogmeat just is on a murderous rampage up there, which is fine by me. I'm just going to check around here because I know there's a bit of ammo behind one of these. Yeah, there we go. Shotgun shells and ammo. So let's go up. There's definitely somebody up there firing. Got him in the face there, but... There we go. Did take quite a few hits again. Fats, buddy. Fats. I keep forgetting about fats. I just want to shoot them in the face manually because it feels so much better. Stop being such a fucking pansy. We hold out for the others like we're supposed to. What are you, deaf? Somebody's out there shooting the place up. I ain't sitting around waiting to die. I swear to God, you make a move for that exit and I'll cut you myself. Now shut your mouth or we'll be... Oh. There we go. And there he goes. Dogmeat's gonna take him out because he was low health anyway. There we go. That was a nice uh, surprise. 
Boo! Mother flippers! Sadly, they don't carry a uh, left arm. Don't need to be careful with that gas canister. I don't want to die because of some unexpected explosion. If it's all the same to you. So we got gourds. Gourds is food. Gourds is food! It's a bit heavy for food, but it also contains water, I think. I should go to the pipe pistol, by the way. There we go. A lot more ammo for it. Coming in there, and I'm gonna skin every last one of you! Come on, man. They ain't going nowhere. We got other shit to deal with. You hear that? I gotta go take a little walk. But I'll be back, and you'll be dead. Hey! I'm gonna sneak up here. And then the last one can actually go like this. Oh god. Ah, oh, there we go. I do shoot a few times with the auto pistol. I'm halfway dead. Uh, I, I could. I'm not really that much in a hurry. And Dogmeat just runs in. Um, I'm actually, yeah, I'll explore in a second. Hello, Preston. How are you? Man, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I kind of went through his dialogue there. So, hi, Preston. Um, I'm glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a God mess here. It. We figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, God damn well, it. we do have one idea. Okay, so they have one idea to take out the raiders, so tell me. Well, let's hear it. Sturgis, tell her. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. Okay, so sometimes there's just like a 50-50 chance that Sturgis's dialogue doesn't really show subtitles for some reason. So uh, I like it. I like it. Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again, but we're a bit stuck. So I actually already have a solution for that. That's the fusion core I uh, uh, built down from the what cave. What you need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. It's down in the basement, locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. He says that while he's literally next to a terminal hacking it. Um, but I already have one. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Thank you, Preston. I'll make sure to do that just in a second. Now look, talk me this settled in already. That is nice. Um, I do need to heal, but before we do that, we can read Robco. Uh, we got uh, just this to take, but it doesn't weigh anything. Um, ooh, gold watch, I'm gonna take that. But more importantly, there's a bubble hat here. There we go. Only through observation will you perceive weakness. Your perception has been permanently increased by a one. So there we go. Inception Something up. Coming. Inception perception. God damn it. I also have a level up still in my bank. So with that, I'm gonna go into critical banker, I think, because the other things are still we're still waiting on the rest, right? Yeah, critical banker it is. So you're a patient battlefield tactician and can save a critical hit to be used in VATS when you need it the most. So accept. There we go. So now we can store a critical and kill people with that immediately. So I'm properly fed right now. But I've taken radiation damage because I e I've eaten uh, some yum yum devil eggs. But uh, with that, I should be able to go upstairs and power up the power armor. You can already see part of the verdi bird sticking through the roof here. Uh, and let's check that out. And Fallout wouldn't be Fallout without explaining what exactly happened on this uh, well in this verdi bird with these soldiers, because there's a hollow tape right here. That will explain everything in one go. So the log for SSG Michael Day. Here we go. Log. United States Army Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. This past Saturday, October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. The cause? EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this 
was a global event. The co-pilot was killed on impact. The pilot died of his injuries a day later. The day after that, Flaherty and Kanawa were shot by some scared, desperate survivors. Then Brzezanski took off running. Haven't seen him since. Now, it's my turn to go AWOL, if that concept even applies anymore. My armor's fusion core is burned out, so I guess my soldering days are done. I'm heading to Boston, on foot, to see if my sister survived all this. She's got an apartment on Boylston Street. This is Mike Daly, signing out. Good luck, and God bless America, or what's left of it. And there we go. The log from Mike Daly from 200 years ago when this vertebrate fell out of the sky following an EMP from the nuclear blast when those actually happened. Ooh, there's more caps over here, I kind of forgot about that. But if we press enter, we plug in the fusion core into the power armor with a bang and then enter it properly. And now Louise has an extra layer of defense and that time also uh, allowed us to heal off the bit of damage that we still had left. Uh, it's still going along I think we're at 80% health. But power armor reduces incoming damage and prevents all damage from falling. Let's grab the minigun and I think Max, I can actually we got somebody up here. equip it. There that guy goes. Um, and the rest is going to start attacking me in a second, but I need to be careful with my ammo count. Down here. Show me that fancy gun up close. That fancy gun up close. There we go. So now we need to strategically take some cover. Most of these guys have a bit more health, especially Gristle, but I need Gristle's key in a second. There we go, there he goes. I'm taking damage a bit. There we go. There that guy goes. And there that guy goes. And I think there's one more... Well, there's one more firing from inside the building. Oh wow, he's... Wait, how how did you shoot me through the wall, buddy? Goodbye. Yeah, uh, give me that... Give me that stem bag. But, ooh, and he has a shotgun. I'm just gonna grab the shotgun there. And I think that's um, a bigger problem. So there's the death claw. It's probably still gonna focus on the. Dog me this down. Dog me this down. It's distracted momentarily. Oh, don't hit me with stuff. Where is he going? Hey, dude, where are you going? I think the death claw just naffed off. Ow. And there goes the car. And I think Dogmeat is in need of a bit of help. Where's the death claw going? Hello? Excuse me. I'm gonna have to use the stem pack in a second. Um, might even just. I'm gonna use a stem pack on dog meat. Um, stem pack, dog. Stab. There we go. Now. Ow. Ooh. E. What the hell was that? I think I just moved. Ah. I popped the sandbags. Where is the. The dead claw? The terrifying monstrosity? So stem packs still heal, but they immediately make you parched. So you need to drink up to be properly hydrated as well. So basically purified water is always better than stem packs, since you need to use a water anyway. Yeah, focus on the dog. Focus on the dog. Don't focus on me. Focus on the dog. There we go. I'm just going to heal him again. I have enough stem bags. There we go. Good boy, dog meat. There that goes. That claw meat and a hand. So with that, we can actually go back inside and talk to Preston about what we just did. Murder a bunch of raiders. Don't forget about Gristle, because Gristle has the Corvega storage key. And of course, another stem bag. Ooh, and a close-sided hair trigger pipe pistol. 
Sounds better like mine, so I'm actually gonna take it. I'm gonna get rid of the minigun in a second anyway, because it's way too heavy. I do have more carrying capacity while I'm in the power suit, the power armor suit, but still, it's a bit too much, right? Can I actually, yeah, let's put that away. Don't want to point the minigun in people's faces when I talk to them. I'm just gonna leave the power armor over here for a second, because it wastes the fusion core if I'm inside of it. A pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you're on our side. Well, I'm glad we could help, Preston. So I kind of skipped ahead a bit, so Garvey was very thankful and we're gonna go to Sanctuary. Well, the entire gang is gonna go to Sanctuary, but we need to go there anyway to just have a little rest. Won't be able to pick this. I'm just gonna clear the building of stuff, so uh, give me a second. And there we go, opening up the terminal upstairs actually allows us to gain another level up with the Idiot Savant triggering. And the rest of the logs on this terminal actually just uh, detail the events before the bombs within this museum uh, where a few a few people, vandals, actually tried to ransack the museum here before. And then when the bombs drops, dropped, uh, one of the people that was working here was actually left behind. She tried to hide with a gun uh, alongside her and then presumably died. I don't think you can actually find her specifically. Um, otherwise, I would please let me know in the comment section if you if you can actually find her corpse. But uh, I haven't really found her here. So uh, I also found the last piece of leather armor that I was missing. So that is that. I'm gonna take the power armor with me again, of course, when we go back to Sanctuary, because it's uh, gonna both provide me with a bit of extra well, protection in this harsh world of survival. And just looks badass, doesn't it? They also got the extra fusion core from the basement, so uh, that's why there's now a one at the core, because that means I have one extra spare fusion core. And I found a shotgun. There we go. So for some reason, they they stayed at the door, so I was hoping that ransacking the museum awesome. gave them a bit more time to get to Sanctuary, but apparently they didn't. So I'm going to just look around here a bit to give Preston and the people here some time to move out. Although this is of course dangerous for me because I don't have uh, a save file just yet. I haven't saved in between um, the beginning of this episode and now. So that's 40 minutes of gameplay that are now on the line that might be just wiped away by a single mistake. So these, these preservation shelters are also really cool. So you can... Uh, just in case of a nuclear disaster, uh, you can just put a few coins in here and hide in here. But uh, as we'll see later on, this was definitely not a guarantee to survive all of that. So on this difficulty, I'm also really nervous about explosives. Um, if there are any mines laying around and I trigger them at this difficulty, I might be dead. Especially with uh, this amount of gameplay already in the bag. Uh, I don't meet you, kind of scare me a bit there. But we have ghouls. So this campsite is, uh, always has something different. There's a few options here, but ghouls are fine. Ghouls I can actually get rid of just like this. I'm just gonna... So there's one down. Um... So there's one, and then that one. Let's kill him. If I can actually aim at him. And Dogmeat's been hit again. Okay. So let's kill off this guy. Oh, I didn't hit him there. There we go. That's better. And then I think... Yeah, there's the other one. Torso was blocked a bit by the tree. So let's... Let him come closer a bit. Uh, just shoot him. Just shoot him. Three shots should do it with my puny pipe pistol. And that gives us two criticals that we can use later on. I'm actually wasting a lot of stim packs on dog meat, so I'm not really sure if I'm gonna keep him around. Although he's really, really handy in just distracting enemies, so I don't take a hit. Which, I mean, might as well do. Then this is gonna be handy because that's another cooking station. I'm gonna use that in a second. Uh, we have all the leather pieces. I haven't equipped them yet, but I do have all the leather pieces, so let's just do that now. Oh no, it's the arm I'm missing. I took another left leg. Did I... Wait, does, does any of these guys actually have a left arm? No, they don't. Right. Oh, they do. Here. There we go. Full leather armor now. I'm done. 
Oh, I can't equip it while I'm in the power armor. Probably also can't use the cooking station while in the power armor. So let's just get out. There we go. And then cook some stuff. Yeah. The dead claw steak. And then some more nothing. No, I don't have enough for anything else. Okay, fair enough. So let's dive in back into the power armor and we can go to Sanctuary now because I'm supposing that Preston will be on his way. I don't need to be careful about explosives though. I don't like this. There's a few more corpses over here. Ooh, 10 millimeter bullets. And a tato, so that's food. Always nice. Potted meat and a squirrel on a stick. These guys are... Have the gold mine. Gold mine of food. There's nothing in the wooden crate though. And some more crispy squirrel bits over here. Good, 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 good. So also always want to avoid running when I'm in a power armor suit because running doesn't really... Well, it drains action points, but it also drains the uh, fusion core a lot faster. As you can see, we're already through a quarter of our fusion core and we're parched from a lack of water, but that's not a problem once we're in sanctuary again. Um, and there's a the death claw again. But uh, yeah, I want to save up all my fusion core as much as possible. I'll leave the power armor and the power armor station. Um, yeah, let's just do that. I'm gonna just stand correctly here and leave it here. So in the red rockets uh, truck stop because I don't really need to do anything else with that. So I'm gonna upgrade the shotgun with a calibrated receiver, which means that it has better, better critical shot damage, which, well, moves back into our build where we use critical shots to do the most damage as possible. Since the shotgun is very high damage, we might as well put that into critical shot. And then our lower damage pistols will just focus on being, uh, well, just better at building up those criticals. And then the same logic will go with critical shot damage for the barrel as well. So inferior range, but a superior critical shot damage. So that's going to be nice as well. Just as a big one-two punch for things that get too close, like monsters. Which are going to be our main uh, problem when uh, they're dealing a lot of damage. There we go. And then we're going to take a little nap because I would just want to go until the early hours here. Six hours? Six hours. So there we go. Now we're package and of course... Uh, thirsty as well, but we're better rested than we were before. And after a bit of food and a severe pump on the water pump, we actually are properly fed and hydrated. There we go. So as I said, we're leaving the power armor in the red rocket station. Should be pretty safe over there. I could pull out the fusion core just to be extra safe that no NPC moves away with it. But I don't really need it all that much at the moment. So let's just head back into Sanctuary with that little safe point behind us. And uh, yeah, let's check out uh, Preston and the gang. So Preston is already patrolling Sanctuary. I haven't forgotten about my level up either. But uh, hello Preston. I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Well, it already is my home, buddy. Yeah, I used to like living here before the war. What do you mean, before what war? Are you saying... I lived here. Over 200 years ago. I, I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? Just my son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. I love how Preston just takes this casually. He just goes with the whole frozen thing without a problem. And there we have another early game glitch that is mind. also happening often. Got another favor to ask. His voice lines just cut out. From a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there are Minutemen out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minuteman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think Hello, you can help the settlement? Uh, sure. I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. 
And there we get a bit of experience for the quest that's finishing up as well. And now we can talk to the settlers at 10 Pines Bluff. That's usually our first quest either way. So I might as well do uh, Sturgis's quest now too. I'm just going to quickly do that. It's just a bit of uh, crafting. And that will help us out with experience. Uh, and we should get hit the next level with that I'm as well. Do some work. And there we go. We leveled up from that. I'm just placing a few more crops around sanctuary just to uh, provide them with enough food and of course us as well with enough food to last us a bit and with that i have two more perks that i can select which we'll do right now so first up i think i need to boost my damage a bit further so let's just go into gunslinger so non-automatic pistols do 20 percent more damage there we go and then next up, since we're focusing on criticals, we're going for better criticals. Criticals do 50% more extra damage. So there we go as well. So better criticals, critical banker, idiot savant, and lone wanderer along with gunslingers with uh, the current stats, which is nice. We're starting to get uh, growing here. So the next part of our journey is gonna be quite extensive. I did this in the gunless pay too as well. Uh, but we're gonna go to Ten Pines Bluff and then to the Corvega, um, well, car factory. Which is gonna be quite a long trek into one episode. Which we're gonna have to do, because of course on survival I can only save in a bed in a safe place. So therefore I'm gonna end this episode right here. So thank you guys enormously for watching, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And next time we're going to Ten Pines Bluff and the Corvega Car Factory. So see you guys then in Fallout 4 Survival. Goodbye.